void is depleted. We are but darkness and shadows, eternal, invisible. Asteroid is depleted.
Let's talk downstairs. Cozy as this place is, there's someone I'd like you to meet. We really went overboard with this place. Acro, look around. Let me introduce you to Davenport. He's been helping me with some reconnaissance. Keeping an eye on Appalachia. Oh, so good to meet you. The overseer has been so excited to Agro. see everyone again. Once you've acquainted yourself with our new arrivals, I may have some field work for you. I couldn't have pulled this place off without him. Let's talk. I know you have questions, and we'll get to them. I have an important mission. But you're just not ready. It's too dangerous. I can't in good conscience send you on it. Before you do anything, you need to get inoculated against the Scorch disease. Agro. You've seen what it does to people. Dr. Hudson was working on a cure. Her research lab was in the Morgantown airport. That should get you started. Is there anything else you want to talk about? Agro. Stay careful out there. Together we've made Appalachia safer. But she still has fangs. You're back. Before you do anything, you need... Dr. Hudson was working on a cure. Is there anything else...
warp drive active. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Okay, I'm going to change games here. Oh, my tablet died. Oops. Uh, gonna gonna switch games and then P Good session, long eight hour session of, or longer than that, yeah, like a 10 hour session of Fallout 76. So now, uh, I'm gonna go on Rust. Gonna log here and let her get some rested. drive active.
Yeah, I think that's good. So I'm just thinking about my day here. And then...
Okay. Learning a lot about Feral Druid DPS. Sorry, I'm just waiting for a load time here, guys. There isn't much else I can do. I said did not get raided.
Wow, that guy's new. Son of a bitch, he got big. Uh, be right back, guys. Got to pee. Gonna grab something to eat as well. Okay, so then uh, let's listen to something in the meantime. Nice, doing good. Uh, thank you so much, um, Oxy76, <laughs> for uh, the excellent content from my stream. I'd like to sub to your channel, and uh, let's listen to what he has to say about Fallout 76. I'm going to pause to go pee and get something to eat, and, and it won't be long. Just two minutes. I'll be right back. There is only two ones. I can only spend 5,000 caps per episode, and only server hop five times. Let's see if we can find some treasures in those vendors. All right, and let's see the first word if we're gonna find anything interesting. Okay, the first vendor already have a bunch of stuff, so we're gonna go there right away. All right, and let's just wait for the traditional camp loading of the... This is actually a really cool camp. Look at this. Is this like a Japanese? style camp wow that looks actually really really good i'm quite impressed i give this camp a nine out of ten i do really like it i do really like it look at the interior wow now this is something unique this is something really nice is this a fusion core charger? Chicken coop. Very, very nice. And I like that uh, the vending machine is right here. I don't need to go around and look for it. Always keep your vendor right in front where people are spawning. All right, so let's see the first weapon. And everything is 10,000 or either 15,000. So most likely we're not going to buy anything from this uh, <laughs> vendor. So what we have here, it's an aristocrat, explosive, faster reload, combat shotgun. It is a good combat shotgun, but does it worth 10,000? Uh, yes, yes, it does worth 10,000. But uh, I'm not looking for any aristocrat or any combat shotgun at the moment. We have a gourmand bow, that's not good. We have instigating bow with crit damage and fast critical field, that's decent, but not for 10,000, maybe 3,000. A junkies bow, no, we don't like junkies. Mutant bow and mutant bow, no. And we do have a fixer, which one is this? Uh, Let's explode up to 50%. Uh, oh, aristocrat, okay. Aristocrat, explosive, faster critical field. That's quite decent. What do we have here? This is. Uh, what's this? Damage increase up to your hunger and thirst meter currently. Is this. Gourmand? Yeah, I think it's Gourmand. I'm getting confused with all these new. You know, very, very specific and detailed uh, legendary descriptions. Uh, this is Junkies, Faster Pirate, Faster Reload. 
you know if you would found this fixer like two years ago when junkies was the meta and everybody was looking for junkies you know i would buy it definitely but not now and then uh, assassin explosive no we're not doing pvp a vampire bow wow good perks on it shame it's not a handmade or a fixer or you know something good uh, we have vampire swings with that gauntlet now that one is actually really good and it's a very very decent price vampire swing sweet can go wrong with that max level of that gauntlet that is really good yeah that is worth let's see in armor uh, some aristocrat uh, life saving a yielding ap refresh but 8500 jesus that's a little bit harsh and it's just a yeah, two star like so that. it's quite expensive for that we have vanguard ap refresh that's not bad and some weightless armor which nobody really use weightless these days anything in apparel black hazmat suit brotherhood uh, things mm, just <coughs> the usual Excuse stuff me. that nobody really wants why would you use a hazmat suit when you have the Chinese stealth suit, you know, it's giving you more radiation resistance or the same radiation resistance, but the anyway, it makes you invisible. It's battle. And a bunch of carrot coffee, quite expensive for 50 caps each. Wow. And a bunch of uh, Nuka Colas, spices. Yeah, quite expensive the coffee. The coffee, I mean. Coffee, it's expensive, and a bobby pin, of course, for 40,000. Why not? Why not? Anything in plans that I don't know? Nothing. And uh, plus, of course, for 50 caps each. Alright, so nothing here. Let's go to the next one. Alright, let's go and help with Moonshine Jamboree, where everything is still invisible for me for some reason. And I believe I can fly. And I can't. Don't you love it when it's boosting you up in the air? There's a person here with a Nuka launcher, so he can basically solo this event very easily with the uh, third weapon. I did the same with eviction notice using the Nuka launcher. You can watch that video in the description. And it just died from the Nuka launcher. What did I told you? Well, I killed it. And the event is completed. All right. And we also got the Ghoul Slayer 45 left leg for all the trouble. Alright, let's see the next vendor where we can go. This one doesn't have any legendaries. Nothing at this one. One legendary here. Two legendary here. Again, one legendary. Oh my god. No <laughs> legendaries. bunch of plants here so we might go here hmm. okay there's a couple of legendaries here so we're gonna go over there first all right and let's just wait for the traditional loading of the cap and traditionally the generator should be the first one and wait for everything to load up there you go just like magic just like magic Looks like a farm. Quite cool. I give this camp a 5 out of 10. Actually, a 6 out of 10 because it does have the vending machine right at the entrance, which is always so good. And we have a blooded single action revolver for uh, <coughs> 2,200 2, caps. I'm sorry. I think I'm dreaming. Crowd control, 1000 caps, 
Okay, love tap. We all know that weapon is quite good. Overkill, yeah, not really. The perfect storm level 40. A fixer, which is a two shot. Actually, two shot. That's not bad, but two shot uh, last round, so that's not good. We have another fixer, uh, which is. Uh, Aristocrat, and we have the Western Spirit. So basically, just a bunch of scrap here, but uh, a little bit expensive. You know, for a three-star weapon, I would pay like 600 caps. You know, for scrap. So the asteroid it's a little is bit depleted. High for me, so I'm not gonna buy anything. Let's see if we have anything in uh, eight. Uh, nothing interesting. Some nuclear key cards for 100 caps each. I take those. Those are actually worth it. 100 caps is quite a good uh, price. And anything else? Nothing that I would need. Yeah, happy with the nuclear key cards because uh, you know you can just add me on PlayStation if you want, and I'm gonna be launching nukes and we can do events together. Let's go to the next one. What is that? Oh, it's the blue devil. That's quite cool. Shame is just a reskin uh, that claw. So, where are the vendors? Uh, must be here. Cool. Good. Uh, oh yeah, no weapons. Actually, we are looking for plants at this one because that's what is selling. Okay, so there's a bunch of plants that I don't know. Uh, so, Blue Devil Statue, I don't want it. Storage, Scout Outfit, don't really need it. Cartography Table, Cave Cricket Tube. This is just all a bunch of decoration. I mean, the Crafton Monster Lamp, I want it, but not for that much. Uh, Kids, uh, Brahman Clock, no. Milkman has Ogwa shell backpack, that is very expensive. Cement barricade, scorpion screen, plushy. 17,000? <coughs> I mean, come on, man. Oh, come on. Suitcase. I don't really want it. Yeah, nothing really that I need. There's just a bunch of camp items that most likely I will. Yeah, nothing interesting, so we're gonna jump servers now. Alright, and I'm in a new world, and I'm naked, and now I'm not naked. It's like the magic, and now it's actually day night. The magic of Fallout 76. We have fucking plants, uh, fast, 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 good. Anything else? Let's see. Nothing here, there's a bunch of mats and rings, that's interesting. There is just three weapons here, at serious noises. Hmm, nothing. Okay, four weapons here, not bad. Seven weapons here, so here we go. And there's the... Vending machine. Really cool, that cool. Anyway, let's see the weapons. So, what do we have here? It's a blooded radium rifle with faster fire rate and less damage with aiming. That's actually not bad. The price for it is quite decent. Caught this blade. Why is that what this blade? I can craft it. Okay, so what else? We do have a quad laser rifle, damage with aiming, not the fast, good that is quad, but not the fast. Wow. <coughs> we have a quad limb damage and made again, good, but not the best. Quad, it's always good. 
a stalker and they know that's just strip. Uh, we have a fixer, mutant slayer, the strip, and uh, we have uh, furious. Oh, my, my phone's dying. Or, uh, earphones are dying. And a vampire drill. With 25% melee damage. We are not moving. And, uh, weightless. That's 26,000 for some reason. I don't know why. And this one is 40,000. Damn it. Leather left arm. For some reason. I don't know why. Those glasses are 40,000. I know you can only get them when you exit the vault. Pretty sure, but still. Mm, toxic goo, we can just get them for free. Big gun, bubbleheads, explosives, small guns. XL, for some reason, it's 40,000. Uh, this thing is 40,000. And this case green and orange, those are very expensive, what the hell circuit cage trailer has way too expensive, fire station drill way too expensive, Jesus Christ nah, those are way too expensive for them, really 10,000 I mean, T60 right, like okay, I mean I got that one <coughs> excuse me yeah, those are um, not very friendly prices. Any junk, anything else? No, that is just uh, too much. Too much for me. Still is junk. Yes, we can. We can take his purple fertilizer. Not going to do that. Alright, and the next camp is in the airship. Alright, let's see it. What is this on the map? Oh, it's right here. Interesting, why is there did some... Some reason why it's here? Something that I'm missing. Where is the vendor? Ah, oh, it's open here, okay. Oh, so it's a garage, okay, I got it, it's cool. Yeah, nice decoration, everything. Okay, okay, so you made it to be a garage. That's actually really cool. Give this one a 7 out of 10. Yeah, very nice. But uh, where is the vendor? Oh, the vendor is right here. I didn't notice it because it's this robot. Let's see, what do we have? So, we have a fixer. Uh, this is a mutant one with lean damage. And damage resistant flaming, not not good and quite expensive. Probably should a railway rifle. I don't really know why it's that 4,500. It's just script. There's nothing useful about that weapon. If you want a railway rifle, it must be quite What is the best one? Two shot and best shotgun. No, that works. Two shot inertial. And the Vampire Western Revolver for 6,000. There is no reason for that revolver to be 6,000. Uh, nothing interesting really is <coughs> what I see. Yep, nothing. Plans, Ogwa Egg. Yeah, that's, that's, you know, decent. Some fences, cool. You have been insulted. You are the dumbass. That's. That, that's the best one so far, that is the best one yeah, 40,000 you're a dumbass if you buy it 
Yeah, nothing really interesting for me, but uh, this camp location uh, made it to be, uh, you know, really nice garage. It's, it's it's nice. I like it. Oh yeah, we need to wait for the traditional loading. First time, always the generator is loading. If you didn't know that, you you know that. Traditional. I like this camp straight away. It is perfect. You know, everything is right in front. There is the vendor, there is the. Uh, what's this? The vault utility room. There is this thing to get some luck. And, uh, you know, if you need to do the daily where you need to visit somebody's shelter, you can just go inside. There is the vendor, which is currently occupied, but. Can we take candy? Gonna put me to sleep. <clears throat> you did that. <laughs> gating, yeah, I think gating is what does that. Yeah. I'll get you some food and water because I don't have a spell slot for it. And if we're gonna go experiment, I don't want to take my spell book. Probably not be making a recovery. There's shadows. I have noticed There's a little bit of that. I'm walking along Ooh, the wall. I am not playing around. Yeah. Here. Another ladder going down Ooh. on the on the left side. Thank you. Rotor dagger, so that should be a pretty good one. Yeah, it might be better than. Hey guys, I'm Oxy. I'm... What? <clears throat> Ah, uh, yes, once human. Very good. I didn't get in this week, though. Today, I'm going to be unveiling something that I discovered on my journeys through the internet to find a good game to play. As you can see before you, I have something on screen. I'm on a website called Echoes of Angmar. And for those of you that are familiar with this term, it has to do with Lord of the Rings. Now, you might be asking yourself, well, what does Lord of the Rings have to do with anything game wise? Well, there's a certain game called Lord of the Rings Online, and if you are a purveyor and player of MMO thank you games, echoes you of uh dylan smith for the excellent the content online. for the stream i'd like to so sub you to your be channel asking yourself then what exactly is echoes of angmar echoes of angmar is a classic private server project meant to put out the original game of lord of the rings online as it was when it very first came out with no additional content at least not yet to be announced or expected and i just have to say that i used to play lord of the rings online a really 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 long time ago when it did come out and a couple years after that and it was definitely a super enjoyable very immersive experience so what i decided to do is is that i wanted to share with you guys that might not know about this that this type of project exists and it has quite a lot of traction behind it and we might be expecting a release in 2024 maybe sometime soon okay never mind <clears throat> Uh, it was good, but it wasn't good enough.
I don't see anything too good to put in the background here. Looking for... Okay, I don't know. Uh, best MMORPG private servers. Thank you, Talek Studios, for the excellent content for my stream. I'd like to sub to your channel. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the Tea House. Today, I'll be serving up for you my personal top ten. This is not. This is not me. DDO? Dragon's Dogma Online. Yeah, like this looks cool, but but you're not really talking. Let's see what this guy has to say. As 2020 is about to end, I can't help but reflect on what a fun year it has been for MMOs. At least in terms of news. We've witnessed the release of a decent amount of new MMORPGs, yet none seem to have reached the height set by titles like Lost Ark and TSO 2 NGS. While Waven shows promise, it still lacks the depth and variety of activities that I personally look for in a game. Fear not, because with 2024 on the horizon, there's a glimmer of excitement as we anticipate what the year holds for the world of MMORPGs. Let's delve into some of the MMORPGs I'm eagerly looking forward to in 2024. Let's not waste any more time. Let's do this. First up, of course, Blue Protocol. If things go through without any problems, we should be getting this sometime in 2024. And I'm looking forward to playing Blue Protocol in 2024 because I love the aesthetic, I like the music, the world, and what it offers. It's not perfect. With the limited time that I was able to play it, I can tell that the endgame content will not be great for the first few months. But I don't know how to say this, but there's something with this game that makes me excited to play it. I could play it on the Japanese servers, but I'd rather wait for the English version. Call it a hunch, but I have a strong feeling that Blue Protocol has the potential to be the biggest MMO of 2024. And I can't wait to immerse myself in the adventure that. it promises. Another MMORPG I'm looking forward to in 2024 is Lost Ark. Despite being considered an aging MMO, my excitement for what this game has in store for 2024 is unwavering. In my book, Lost Ark has held the title of the best MMORPG of 2023. Oh, and it continues to be a stellar gaming experience. My anticipation for the missing arc storyline and the introduction of new systems in the game has me eagerly awaiting for each update. What particularly piques my interest is the promise of fresh content, challenging raid, and my curiosity of how they plan to wrap up the difficulty for the upcoming raids. Will there be new engravings that shakes up the meta? Are we in for the introduction of new classes that adds exciting dynamics to the gameplay? I've been thoroughly enjoying experimenting with the new classes, tweaking builds, and discovering optimal strategies. It's a testament to Lost Ark's enduring appeal, especially considering the plethora of MMOs I've explored this year, only a select few managed to captivate me for an extended period. Lost Ark is undoubtedly one of those gems, and I'm eagerly looking forward to its evolution in 2024. Okay, so next MMORPG I'm looking forward to is 
throne and liberty. Admittedly, I was flip flopping if I was gonna be excited for this or not because this game kept changing every few months, adding and removing the automated systems, making the combat more action oriented. You can now move and attack, at least the last time I checked it. But the main thing I'm looking forward in this game is the graphics. How amazing is this in 4K or 1080p? I don't have a 1440p monitor, I'd rather go all out 4K or go super low 1080p. Just in case the game isn't properly optimized. It's in Unreal Engine 4, so let's hope it goes well. And by the way, it's already out in Korea and it's impressive. Unreal Engine 4. Hopefully, Amazon game servers can handle this type of demand. Next MMORPG I'm looking forward to is PSO2 NGS. I wanna see what they're gonna add next after the last major update. What's gonna be the new content, a new planet, or maybe they're just gonna expand the map so they add new areas. What's gonna happen to the story? The real aliens gonna attack or do we go to space and fight the whatever aliens? I'm looking forward for what's next. To be honest, I can't believe I'm excited for the story of the game. My problem with PSO2 NGS when it was released was the end game content. It's not well thought of, but I guess the end game content wasn't really for me. And I just shifted to just playing the story. So yeah, let's see how it goes. And finally, the last MMORPG I'm excited about is Soul Frame. Well, who's not looking forward for this game? You're crazy. This could actually be a game of the year. But I left it in the recycler. I left all that so shit in the recycler somehow. MMO elements, but not a full blown MMO. Go back. Regardless, I'm very excited to check this game out in late 2024. Well, according to the developers, it's expected to be out in late 2024. I can't always, believe I did that. Delays and problems, so you won't get too disappointed. And what I'm specifically looking forward in Soul Frame is the world, what it's going to look like as we play the game. And looking at the demos we've been getting, the combat will require skill, which is always nice. I have a feeling dodging and parrying attacks will be fun as hell, kinda like in Elden Ring. I am hyped for Soul Frame. And there we go, guys. How about you? What are the MMOs are you most hyped for? Tell me in the comments, and this is Game Hardcore. See you in the next one. Asshole. At least I got my shit. I can't believe I left that shit. I, I swiped it. Nice. Uh, 400 scrap. Let to us, let, like, is everything in the T1, like, available? Is the suppressor? No. No? The suppressor isn't there. Or the silencer, I mean. No. Son of a bitch. Well, now I know what the first 50 scraps going to be on. It's a 
fly through to suppressor, which is like pretty far down the fucking list. So annoying. Maybe it'll just let me buy it direct, I bet. We'll see. And I do not have room in here, so we're just gonna like move this thing, I guess, when I'm done with it. No path. So... Good. Then... The other thing I want to look at here is slugs, right? Ah, very good. So... Next, I'm going to need wood and sulfur. Sulfur, split, I don't know, give me like that much wood. Yeah, and then, uh, metal and sulfur, charcoal. Oops, you didn't start. And I will make a. Pump shotgun with a suppressor. What's the pump shotgun? It's like. Oh, two metal pipes. Shit. Shit, shit. Please tell me I have these. I don't. Son of a bitch. I have to go out like all primed and. Go pop like two stop signs if I can even survive that long. We'll see. We'll see. Here comes the death I've been waiting for. We'll see. So, gotta have pipes. Don't have them. Maybe there's some in the small box. No. But I mean, frankly, that's alright. You know, I thought I saved them, but I guess I didn't. Go directly to the road and just pop uh what is that? It's a wetsuit. Just gonna go directly to the road. Fuck me, that guy's not on yet, probably it's still early enough or well I don't know. I don't know what's going on. So hopefully we can just pop pipes and either like that. Oh, perfect. Should set some here. Okay, go. It's a dead time of day. It's nice. A little early still. Got what I needed to do. And now we will pursue making uh yeah, like you, you, you. All right. And we'll come here. Oh, I'll probably need some metal, metal as well. Some metal and suppressor, pump shotgun. Mm -hmm. Got two of them. <clears throat> I'm gonna take this and that and some charcoal and make. Some GP, GP, train, wow, 
Oh, it's like right under my base. I wonder if they're going to come up the ladder. I could wait there with a pump shotgun. <coughs> so I want to take some wood. I want to make uh, some HV like 20. Yeah. And the rest I want to make these 32 would be enough. Yeah. How much is it? It's like two of them. So 32. Let's do 16, right? Shit. Oh, no, no. 32 is all I could do. So, oh, yeah. Let's go. Oh, shit. I'm out there on the field. Yeah. Oops. Okay, so now we have a nice sniper set up. Gonna need a simple on this. Yeah. And um, we can wait for beachcombers and such. And we'll just gank, you know. Okay, let's see what we can do. The yellow makes me stand out. I would prefer... Maybe there's uh, skins on this server. Yeah. Oh, no, it won't matter because I can't open the thing. Uh, so... There, like that.
Ah. Works for me. <laughs> he was going to take a boat out. Poor guy. I mean, I was there first. So, comes with the brakes. I want, uh, yeah, I got, I need like just enough room in this bag to just dump. I'm going to dump everything. Right? So I'll, I'll just kit like that. The I'll do my ganking like that. Wait, where did all those rounds go? Wait, what the fuck? I'd only fired. Oh yeah, six and four makes ten. Ten shots. Yeah, ten shots. I don't know. That might be low for what I'm doing. I'm going to go get the whole stack. Fuck it. Why does that feel like not as much as I need at all? Okay, stop. That's good. Yeah, we're good. So you and you will make me another stack of these. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. And then, yeah, that wasn't even that much. That was not even that much metal. It was nice. Now we have a lot of stuff to mess with. Might as well set up two guns up there. And we can see what we can roll off this, right? Without investing too much time, you know. I think he got out. So we gotta hurt him land. What the fuck? I guess they must have just rode by. They must have just rode by. Oh yeah, money, money. Making lots of Eve money. Maybe I'll sit on the roof, huh? shot at him. It's also too far. I can shot these trees. They don't really benefit me. Be nice to have them gone for Docking a bit. Permission requested. But also, the trees hide my base, sort of. Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. One one Docking request accepted. One report like that. Mm. 
Uh, neighbors are home. I don't want them to see me. It's large oil, huh? Oh, there's that guy. I'm gonna go over there with the uh the Naoka. This kid's naked, though. Fuck, it's so dumb. I like this tree, but that tree is annoying. I want to be able to see the beach per perfectly. Yeah, I kind of want to like chop that tree. I will leave my shotgun right here with my with my kit for just a second while I while I drop down and, and chop these two trees. Shit, since I'm here, and no one came. It kind of is my metal, you know, like on my land. I don't like that jump at all. I'm inclined to fix it, you know? Definitely so I can't fall. But I also don't want this to be harder than it needs to be either. Should start on me. Like. I can't do that, can I? I don't know. Like, let's see how it feels. How does that feel? Yeah, it feels good. Oh. Shit. Fuck was that? So he lives there, huh? He's, he's at that one down there. It's all right. All right. Well, good. We got uh, we got some cooking. I don't need that much for that slide. That much. Yeah. And then put the rest of this away. Go up top and get my gun. Okay, back in action. I don't have any meds. Which is frankly dumb. If I do get lit up by a Tommy or something, which is like which is what's likely to happen, I have like no way to respond to that. Like, no way out. Yeah, so... Yeah, mushrooms are good. And then bandies. And 
Yeah, that should be enough. That's enough, I think. Yep. I'm tempted to put... Uh, I don't think there's anything stopping me from putting a half wall right there. Maybe there is. Like a box right there would be really good. A box on both sides so I could just jump up and over, slide up and over. Two boxes would be really good right there. Just getting afternoon again. Oh. There, see, now I can see him. I still have like pretty good cover right here. Fucking idiot, he's still eco rating that thing. Oh. I'm gonna go get binoculars, like make five of them or something. Use a lot of metal, but I mean that's all right. I got metal cooking upstairs. The drop box, but I do want one of these. Oh, the gears up here for some reason. Set up my two boxes here. And my two boxes idea. So I can just go right out that hole. No problem. Yeah, one right. Like right the fuck there. And then one right the fuck here. And suddenly it's like, I can just go on out here and get a clear, nice, fucking clean shot, you know? Oh, am I in station? Yeah, I am. That's okay, that's not bad. They, I think the I think the AK killed one of them. I should have zoomed in.
God, I love this shit. It's actually so entertaining. It was like a fucking Miami Vice fucking mama's speedboats and dudes with machine guns and shit. And they actually mean business, too. That actually really sucked for whoever that is. They definitely, like, some rounds. I don't know if they died. I keep looking for a bag to flow or, like, a body or something. But until the sun rises, we're not going to be able to see it. But, I mean, the sun's going to rise. Like, the, the night's not very long on this server. I'm going to turn the graphics up because I'm, like, maining rust right now. Warp drive active. I love Rust's um, ability to just be quiet. It's like the quietest game I've ever played in many respects. It can also be the loudest. It's funny, funny how the AK lit up the exact same shot. I was like, what? When I fired, I saw a tracer light up from the beach. And I was like, dude, we both pulled the trigger at the exact same time at these clowns. <coughs> yeah, it felt pretty good. Now I want to chop that tree. I feel like a new tree popped. Like as soon as I popped that tree, like another tree popped right there. I don't want to go out there. I don't need to, frankly. I have like days in this space. I've got two days in this space. To sit here and look for my opportunities. I don't have to do anything. I love modern Rust. It, it's like so much easier than it used to be. It used to be on vanilla. You get like 300 stone a note or whatever. It was so bad. And like. You would like only be able to stack a thousand. And if you had like 4,000. It actually really was like a lot. And it is a lot. But, uh, modern rust, especially modded, like, the, the upkeep doesn't seem to really matter. What in the fuck are you doing there? God for these trees right here or they would just balty me all day I'd have to like put a wall right here of doors I might actually have to do that I might have to put some doors between them and me because if they like come chop these trees or if anybody else chops the trees I'm pretty much open balty on this roof it didn't really like occur to me but I heard footsteps. What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that?
Fuck was that? Where are you? God damn it. What that metal ore? they build that base like that what there's like some dumbass thing out there that's like connected and it's like a drop down that connects to a wall or something I don't even know That won't be good for me. It sees right up and over it. What the fuck is that? But only to that part of the base, which is good. Is the helicopter still sitting there? I think it is. They never left. They're still sitting there. They're like waiting in the safe zone for some reason. I never heard him leave. Oh, what was that? I thought I saw somebody. Something. Oh, no. It's his windmill moving. This was a pretty open gallery yesterday. I should take some wood and just build up right there all the way up as far as I can go a nice little window tower made of crappy wood I did just chop two more trees man it's quiet I'm gonna sit on the road with this suppressed shotgun, but I don't know. It'd be fun to just go lose this kit. But I have this feeling like the minute I leave the base, I'll die. There's so much aura right there. 
Because those guys have a control with a bolty. I watched what they did to people. There. What up, man? Like you guys are still sitting with a sitting in a mini alley over there. What's up with that? Like, did you run out of like fuel? No, no. What? Oh, oh. You took two of those. You're dead, you motherfucker. What are you talking about? Never mind. I don't want to go that direction. <laughs> oh. Fucking python around the corner. He outguns me, kind of. I mean, he definitely can hit a shot better than I can. But the good news is, is maybe I can get at him. Let's see. Let's see if he clears that fucking beach. We can lay into him, maybe. Come on, you in the meadow. No. Come around, come out, come out, come out. <laughs> he like rounded the corner into a fucking python. It was hilarious. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I hit him twice. I don't know how he lived. Gotta look at this fucking combat log. He was pounding bandages, is why. Leg and foot. It didn't do much damage. Fucking annoying. It should. What's around that beach? What's around that beach corner? What's waiting around that beach corner? It's like two dudes with pythons. They live there or something. They must live there. Oops. No. Bumped my mouse. Because I moved my chair. Damn it. Gotta fix it. Uh. Excuse me. Okay. Doesn't make any sense. I get the feeling I did better than a lot of other people here. Before they just gave up. Okay, well, 
I'm gonna hang out in the tree and No, the, the, this tree, it's helpful, but Well, I'm going to wait for something to happen. Yeah, nothing's going to happen, I guess. I better go out and make something happen. Seems kind of quiet. If I lose the shotgun, I'm not going to cry. I can make many more. Let's see what we can go get with it. Try to go right on your fucking land, bitch, because you're getting shot by Mr. Bolty. Not today. I'm not getting shot by Mr. Bolty. You know what I want is a direct line to the fucking recycler at Outpost. I think that'd be awesome. I don't know. This meadow is dangerous. I want the road by the Outpost. On the way in. Here we go. Crossing the meadow. Don't fucking Bolty me. I like this copse of trees. It's actually fucking good cover. I the asteroid a, is depleted. I wish I had a direct line to the recycler. recycler. Here, I can sit in this bush, right? I need a good series of bushes, yeah. Where the, like, the vision's really obscure for a while. 
in a pretty good way, right? Yeah. yeah. This is a pretty good bush, yeah. I can even stand up in it if I need to. And we'll just wait for like a like a trap. I don't need trap base, I'll just shoot my own prey. It's too quiet. It's so weird for such a high pop server. There's stuff going on, it's just not on this side of the server. This is the really good bush that they'll never see. This is the strong one that they really won't be able to see me. I love really good bushes. Okay, let's just save K in a bush until something happens. Feels like the server died might have I don't know I don't know I've already got a kill today fuck is that patrol yes that was at, at the fishing village. Makes no sense. No, they're shooting at patrol. I have to get home. But good news is, is their eyes won't be on me, so. They're gonna kill us so fast. They're gonna kill me so fast. Oh god. Okay, good. They're looking at it. Gotta make sure. Gotta make sure it doesn't fucking. Okay, now they're now I should go, I should go, I should go. It's gonna land like on my base, I bet. I thought it was gonna land on me, it was my problem. I was like, what if it lands on me? 